Hey, John here. So uh, I have this uh, circuit board that was part, uh, this was a flawed uh, design iteration and it's sitting on my hot plate. I just got this new hot plate here uh, that I talked about on another video on my channel. I did an unboxing on the thing and fired it up and <laughs> really roasted a board and took the parts out. Anyway, the hot plate works really well. Uh, what I want to do is find out if I can solder on a bunch of 0603 parts. So this flawed board is garbage. Uh, these resistors here are uh, about 15 years old, <laughs> and there's hundreds of them left. I've like two partial reels of the 75 ohm resistors, uh, part of a video termination and a project that I did a while ago. And I mean, I'm never going to use those things. Never gonna use this board, why not? Guess what else I'm never gonna use other than today is this. <laughs> so this is some chip quick. And I mean, I've never really, I've, you know, I've dabbled with this, but I've never really gotten it to work right. It never did what I wanted to. Uh, this is a pretty old tube of this stuff. You can actually see it's sort of separating in there. I don't know how well that looks up on here, too bright or something. Here's a, uh, maybe a piece of cardboard to dim the, I don't know, change the lighting, the contrast, or whatever. Anyhow, this is pretty old. Uh, I'll admit that I bought it at Fry's, okay? And they've been out of business for a year and a half. So it's at least that old. <laughs> and this stuff has got a shelf life of about six months or maybe a year at best. Um, I'm also pretty sure I bought this like eight years ago. <laughs> so this is like really bad stuff. Uh, so let's find out what happens. Let's see if I can get some on there and see what happens if I heat this up and try and place a few of these on there. All right. So it uh, came with this like needle tip like thing here. This is a pretty big one. It's like almost a millimeter in diameter. I'm really sure that this tip is much too big for this job. So this is just one thing wrong after another, but let's see what happens. Uh, uh, you're supposed to have like these metered out or get a, uh, um, stencil, uh, and then use it like a silk screen type of thing and then squeegee it across and then leave only tiny little dots on each one of these footprint locations. And absent that, you have to kind of like do this. I've seen this done on the YouTubes, on the interwebs. That's way too much solder, I think. Now well, let's see what happens. Over here, this doesn't look too bad to the eye. Yeah, on the camera, though, I can see. Yeah, that's like a ton. <laughs> Let's see what happens. So this should melt uh, easily at 250C. Let's grab a couple of these resistors. Let's see what happens. Now, normally what I would do is use a stick iron and put one end down, then do the other end, and then go back with some hot air. That whole process takes a long time. Let's just see what happens if I do this and heat this thing up. Uh, watch it refill. Come on, get off of there. That's the problem with these tweezers, is that once you get flux on these tweezer tips, they get sticky, and then you can never get rid of the darn thing you're trying to pick up. And of course, you can't get it when you want it. You can't put it down when you want to. Get on there. There we go. All right, uh, let's see what happens to these three, these three resistors. I, I'll leave them a little bit crooked. Why not? And I'm going to leave the extra solder over there. It should bunch up and, and, and adhere to those uh, pads over there. Let's see what happens here. It should be interesting. I could get some other, you know, these uh, T-SOP packages maybe later on if this works well and see what happens there. If I've got some old chips. Well, you know, I just remembered a friend of mine who works in a factory, gave me all these chips and stuff a while back. He said, I just called him up and said, you know, you got old scrap parts you don't care about. You're going to chuck them. Let me have them so I can practice soldering. So here we go. Unfortunately, these are all SOIC parts. They're no T-SOPs. There's no fine. I need half millimeter for the... Oh, there's a SOIC footprint. Let's see what happens there. Let's just grab a part. Out of here. Let's see what happens. I don't know what what is this thing? You get an eyeball on there. <laughs> what am I ruining? The, he literally said these are off the floor. So, you know, when they're threading a machine or something, or 
at the end of a spool and they're on the layer last. Oh, look at that. It even fits on the footprint. Let's try and see what happens there. And pads are much bigger, so this might actually work really well for that. And I mean, I'm going to heat it up anyway, so let's see what happens. Look at this. Make sure you got it on all the pads. Boy, yeah, this is like, this solder is just crap. All right, let me try again here. Came out of there as, I don't know, a bunch of flux, but no solder. Yeah, I guess that's what happens when this stuff gets old. It separates, maybe, I guess. Wipe some of that off. Now I'm making a mess. <laughs> this will be great. World's worst job soldering. First experience with a hot plate. It it can't get worse than this. You know, really, it can't. This has got, this is just one big strewn on mess. If this can be salvaged and laid down right, then this is the best way to solder ever. I can't even see the pads. I don't have any idea whether that thing's lined up on there at this point or not. Yeah, it's in the neighborhood. Let's see what happens. This is great. All right, I fire it up. And I'm going to set the temperature to 200. And what am I going to do? I'm going to set it to 200 and, oops, that's 300 and something. I'm going to set it to 250. All right, we just passed 100 Celsius. And it looks like the uh, flux is running out of the uh, paste all over the place. Which is not surprising. I obviously put too much on there. And it's got to go somewhere. Let's see how well it balls up on the footprints. On the pads. We just passed 150 and it's starting to smoke a little bit. Bubble a little bit. See if we can zoom in a little bit better here. Well, that's about what it's supposed to do eventually. I'm afraid, though, that it's heating up so slow that maybe it's boiling away the flux and leaving this paste. Go oh, there it goes. It's reflowing. Oh, man. That's impressive. I almost leaned my hand on it. Oh, look at that. Woo! The chip looks really good. Well, I think there's just a ton too much solder on it. And these resistors are not where they're supposed to be. This one went the wrong way. You know, it's because they weren't even close to where they were supposed to go. I'm, I'm inclined to want to rest my hand on the plate here. That would be a very dangerous thing to do. This is pretty toasty. So the resistors are decent. As long as they're in the right general vicinity, you can sometimes kind of move your jostle the board around a little bit. So we just hit 230. I'm going to just shut off the plate and let it cool down on its own. While well, everything's boiling here. Uh, yeah, there's just a ton of solder on this chip here. That's, that's a disaster. But you know what? These 0603s, they're looking really good. Now, in terms of, like, the solder curve, the temperature curve, it shouldn't stay at this temperature for a half an hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off of here and set it aside and let it cool on its own. Oops, I dropped it. <laughs> so much for that. <laughs> this is a terrible tool to use. Ow! <laughs> this is a terrible tool to use for that purpose. Uh, but this is interesting because you can actually do things like this. I've actually done this with hot air before. After soldering it, you know, it's still pretty hot. It's going to be able, you can just move it around. Now, there's way too much solder on it. You know what I can do also while it's this hot is just knock off all that extra solder. <laughs> Again, world's worst soldering job. But I suspect. This will come out all right.
All right, this time I'm going to lift it up with a real pliers and set it aside to cool down on some cardboard. Because that whole board is going to be really hot. I mean, you can see the heat coming off of this plate right here in the video. Look at that. Woohoo! That is warm. All right, so this is after about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes of cooling. It looks like the chip was a 74HC165. And, you know, this is the sloppiest, most crummy soldering job I've ever done in my life. And other than this one bridge right here, I think it's very good. <laughs> oh, very good. It's good. It's certainly good enough. Now, let me uh, hit this with some of this terpene stuff that I got on Amazon. I got uh, one of these. And what is this thing? I got a half a gallon or something. I, this is going to last me like a lifetime. So what it is, uh, the terpene stuff is like a citrus-based flux remover. It's like an oily thing. It smells like orange peels. It, I very, very strongly. Uh, <laughs> don't drink it, though. Even though it's kosher and food grade, I'm not feeling the desire <laughs> to drink it. I'm not sure what the food utilization of it is. I should look that up. All right, so there you got it. Oh, man, I am very, very amazed there. Let me see. Can I actually get the mic? Does this work on the camera? I might have to play with the focus a little bit, but. This is definitely a decent way to solder. I don't know how close to the lens I can get with this, but this is really amazing. It looks like that's about as close as I can go. Look at that. That bridge would be real easy to get rid of with a quick tab of the iron. Uh, too much solder on those 75 ohm resistors as well. Let me see if I can get the light glare out of the way. Always the bane of these circuit board shots. Look at that. Uh, looks like R43 there. Only soldered down on one end. Whoops. R44 and R45 look pretty good. Again, too much solder, but, you know, if I actually used a uh, stencil, my gosh, this is the way to go, people. The hard darn hot plate costs the same amount as an iron. That's great. I am pretty happy with this. I mean, all things considered. I mean, really. I had a big mess of solder all over the place here, all over these pins. I picked this up while soldering it and banged the tweezers against the side of my garbage can to fleck off all the excess solder that was on these leads and then put it back on here like this. And, you know, those are, that, that, those are nice joints. I would be perfectly happy with that uh, in any of my boards. This is nice. From now on, I'm going to be ordering up some stencils when I get these boards. That'll take care of my mess problem with the solder and make sure there's enough, but not too much. This is great. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This, I mean, <laughs> I think anyone could solder this way <laughs> with the sloppiness that I've done here. Wow. I don't know, man. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.